Hello YouTube and welcome to another macOS tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install all my Z shell into macOS. So are you ready? Let's get started. So what is all my Z shell? Okay. So first of all, let me open the terminal here. So I go to spotlight and I type terminal. Here we go. So I get this terminal here. So as you can see here, it's the default terminal for macOS system. Okay. And by default, it's uh, quite ugly, just black on white, and it has not a lot of functionalities, but you can make it more powerful by installing the Z shell. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can install all my z shell so by default the shell that is used is the bash so as you can see here in the title window or you can ju just type echo dollar sign and shell to see what shell i'm using by default so it's the bin bash or bash shell okay so we are going to convert this shell into the Z shell or install actually the Z shell. So my terminal will be more beautiful and more powerful. Okay. So if I go here to the site all my Z dot shell or CH, you can see actually how it will look later on. Okay. So here you can read Oh my Z shell is a delightful open source community driven framework for managing your Z shell configuration. Okay. So in this tutorial, we're going to install it actually, but first you have to install the Z shell first. Me, I already done that, but you can install it using the brew if you want. So the brew install Z shell. And this command will actually install our Z shell very easily. So after that, you go to this website, so you will find all the links to the sites and all that I'm using here in the description of this video. Okay. So I will scroll here down and you can find here the command that you can use in, in order to install all my Z shell. So you can install it via curl or via wget. And once again, if you don't have any of this command, always bro install, for example, curl or wget if you want. So you can use either of this command. So let's open or install all my Z shell, but I will be using here wget. So I have to copy all this line here. Pretty easy, copy. Then we will go to our terminal and paste it. Just easy as that. And here we go. So now, as you can see here, all my Z shell is installed okay and here it will gives you some uh, question do you want to change your default shell to z shell so remember by default is the bash shell but here we are going to use z shell so i will just hit yes or just y of course, I have to provide the admin password for my uh, macOS. Here we go. And now, et voila, everything is ready and installed. You can see here the logo on my Z shell is now installed. Okay. So, and here, one important file that is used to configure your Z shell is the resource file or .zshellrc. 
so this file you will open it and you will add it or modify it in order to install new teams or options okay so let me show you how you can do that so by default the directory I am in is my home directory which is slash users slash admin so if we list all the files on it so I have only here directories but if you want to see also files and especially this file here which is hidden because it begins with the, the dot so I have to add the option minus a for all and now you can see all the hidden files and folders also and this is our file dot z shell rc so you can open it whatever editor you want but I'll be using vi editor in order to open this file here so I think I miss typed something yes it's s instead of of c dot c okay here we go and this is our configuration file so here you can change the option for this team here so by default here the teams that i am using or the team i'm using it's here in this line which is called Robbie Russell. Let me show you all the teams that you can install. So there is another link that you will also find in the description where you can take a look out for the teams that you can install. So here are the teams that you can actually install. So by default, this is the Robbie Russell team. But also there are also some uh, other teams that you can install if magic for example a4 or agnoster agnoster i use it a lot it's pretty interesting team and especially if you are working with the get directories it has some fancy colors and fancy extensions also you can use okay so there are a bunch of teams that you can use some that will change also the prompt for your terminal so you can add the date the hours the minute if you want the status of the get directories okay if you have staged or unstaged files so all that you can actually customize it using this beautiful teams here okay and also besides teams you can also have plugins so plugins will allow you to add more functionality to your z shell so for example you can have some get plugins or autocomplete plugins that will actually complete the commands for you if you want okay so this is the most interesting here is this file resource file for the shell which allows you to configure all what you want into your file so for example in this line here you can change the default team okay so I'll quit that so this is just a brief introduction on how you can use or actually not use but just install all my Z shell into mac os in the coming videos we will install more plugins or more teams if you want so as always i hope that's been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye